So to update you guys, I did some work. Um, as you saw, I was talking to one of my friends. He was helping me out, answer a couple questions about like SMMA, social media marketing in the beginning of it. I hit faster cardio, talked to my friend, ate breakfast, did some work. And right now I'm actually about to head over to the hospital because my sister's about to have a baby. So I'm just getting some stuff. I got some bananas, some kind bars. Uh, I'm gonna grab a couple more things. A couple snacks for my parents. They've been there since the morning and they've been waiting and I'm about to head over. I got my huge bag full of stuff. Let me open it. So I got my laptop, I'm gonna do some work while I wait. I uh, got my hard drive, all that. Got my camera, take some pictures, of course. Uh, my drone, gotta get some drone shots for the prologue. Um, and just some more stuff, chargers and extra battery for my drone and all that stuff. I'm heading over to the hospital now and uh, I'll do a quick edit and you guys will probably see the baby in a second. What's going on guys? It's the next day and I got a lot of stuff to explain. I'm out here. Ooh, she's taking a piss. I'm out here with Macy, my sister's dog. And we're over at this lake in my neighborhood. You probably saw in the drone shot earlier. But basically, uh, last night or last yesterday, I went over to the hospital. I had to wait like four, maybe five hours for my sister to actually deliver the baby. And after that, I stayed a couple more hours. By the time I got home, it was late. I was tired. I was exhausted. Also went to her house to take care of her dog since she's going to be in the hospital. Macy! Macy! So I'm taking care of her for until tomorrow, Saturday, and then my sister will be out. So I wanted to explain how I got in contact with my first client, how I closed them, and also how I'm about to close another one today. So I basically messaged this guy, I DM'd him. I'll share as many screenshots as I can, but I DM'd this guy named Scott, and I saw he co-owned a lot of businesses in my area, and I knew a couple of them too. So I DM'd him. I think this was I think this was at the time when I first started to get into social media marketing. So at first I may have DM'd him about doing just content creation for a couple of his businesses. And then um, later on, I believe the combo transitioned to social media marketing. And that's when I met up with him and discussed more. So I ran a week long of a free ads for them to provide value. Uh, they paid for the ads, of course, but I just, I did it all for free. Got them great results. And then he also wanted me to boost like two more events uh, to get more guests or people interested on Facebook on the event page. So I did that too. And at first I was like, man, this guy might be using me. So I sent him the video that I showed in my last prologue. If you haven't seen that, go watch that prologue one season two. But I sent him that video um, because he said he couldn't really get all his uh, partners together for a while. So I was like, screw that. I'll send him a video showing the results. Uh, how this could help his businesses and all that. So I sent him the video and I saw on one of the pages I was admin on, um, there's two other people. I'm pretty sure one of them was the owner of a couple of restaurants, including the ones he co-owns. So I messaged him and I messaged the owner's son. So the owner's name is Mike. I messaged Mike, I messaged his son. And what ended up happening was we booked a meeting, I booked a meeting with Mike, the owner. And, uh, you know, I thought he was the guy to talk to. I was like, oh, maybe Scott wasn't the guy to talk to who could uh, hire me to do my services. So I went into the meeting with Mike a couple days later. And I basically, I re-showed him the video, explained some more stuff, explained the chat bot and how that can help their business a lot, especially for restaurants. And he was pretty interested. And he said that he, he was having a meeting that same day at 2 p.m. Uh, with his partner. So I was like, all right, I'll, you know, I'll go. I'm down to come to the meeting if I'm allowed to. He said I was. So I was like, all right, man, I think I might close my first client. Um, and I was just assuming that Scott was connected with them the whole time. But little did I know when I was driving back home, I actually got an email from Scott and he was like, hey, Alex, I was able to finally view the video and uh, we want to finalize everything on Friday, which is today. So I scheduled a meeting later that week with Scott to finalize everything, and I also had a meeting later that day, I guess a follow-up meeting with Mike and his partners. And uh, when I went to that meeting with Mike later that day, I ended up closing. Um, it's a little bit lower pay, 
but I'm not providing as much. I'm just showing them the value I can bring, and uh, you know, if everything goes well, they're gonna be paying more. They're gonna be paying me more uh, the next month, and I'm also gonna be working with more of their businesses. Right now, I'm doing about four of them. So if everything goes well, I'll be working with maybe six to eight of their businesses. So higher pay for each restaurant and more restaurants. But with Scott, I thought Scott was with them the whole time on all the businesses and I didn't know Scott was separate. So I'm actually meeting with Scott today on Friday. Macy, look at her, <laughs> so cute. So <clears throat> I'm meeting with uh, Scott today. And I guess so he's gonna be basically a separate client. He's gonna be like my second client if I close it today. But uh, yeah, just want to explain how I got in touch. Uh, it's as easy as a DM, man. Um, and then from there, I actually, I forgot to mention, Scott recommended me to his brother who owns like a dog brand company. And uh, he actually showed his brother, or he wanted me to share the video with his brother and his brother, you know, was really impressed. And I got his number and we're gonna, I'm gonna call him up soon and meet up with him. So just like that, you know, I reached out to one person and ended up getting two other clients. Well, one client and one potential client. And I'm hopefully gonna close Scott, you know, soon. So if everything goes well, I'll have three clients in my first month of uh, doing social media marketing and maybe two clients of on my first week of doing social media marketing if everything's finalized today with Scott. So I appreciate all, I appreciate all you guys watching. It's getting windy here. I hope you guys can still hear me, but um, I'm about to go to the meeting. I'm recording this for my prologue three. This is prologue two, so stay tuned for my next prologue. I'm gonna be recording it. I don't know if I'll record in the meeting. It's an event for Don Tito, event for Goat. I'll pay you 250 per event to do whatever you do for the ads, and then I'll pick a separate ad budget as well. Last month, so I don't know how much you guys are trying to spend on like Roy Boys, but if you want to do, if you want to start up small, if you want to do like 500, maybe 600, that's just 500 too. So that'll be like a thousand. I'll set up the pixel at like no cost if you want to work with those too. But I'm gonna record myself going to the meeting. I'll explain everything that happened. I'm really hyped that I'm back on the prologues and uh, showing you guys the behind the scenes, how I'm getting these clients and stuff. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Right, Macy? <laughs> right, Macy? Right? <laughs> Okay. <laughs>